Please say standing for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the may be seated. Congratulations, class of 2020. Faculty, staff, distinguished guests, friends, family, and graduates. 
It is my pleasure to welcome you the 64th commencement of Hopton High School for the 2020 graduating class. We would like to remind everyone that today's ceremony is dignified and ask that everyone hold their congratulatory applause and cheering so that all seniors and their families will receive the same respect. Also, please silence all cell phones and electronic devices at this time. At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished guests. Please stand to be recognized when your name is called. Dr. Eric Bracey, Superintendent of Sampson County Schools. Ms. Kim Schmidlin, Sampson County Schools Board of Education Sheriff Person. Mr. Darrell Warren, Sampson County Board of Education. It is now time to recognize our top 10 seniors for the class of 2020. Seniors, please stand to be recognized when your name is called. Family and guests, please hold your applause until the final name is called in order for each family to, and student to receive the recognition and honor they deserve. Number 10, Lily Askew. Number nine, Cameron Lee. Number eight, Kenley Montez. Number seven, Roy Johnson III. Number six, Preston Daltrey. Number five, Laney Pope. Number four, Anna Sutton. Number three, Ellington Tart. Salutatory, salutatorian is Miss Bailey Williamson. Valedictorian for the class of 2020 is Lizzie Phipps. Congratulations. <clears throat> Today we would like to also recognize our school awards that are voted on by the faculty and staff. Please stand when your name is called. Faculty Award, Kenley Montez and Lizzie Phipps. Most inspirational student, Samantha Ramos. Citizenship Award, Ellington Tart and Decorus Morrison. Most improved student, Ashanti Hardy. School Service Award, Trip Johnson and Anna Sutton. Special Friend Award, Vanessa Oates and Ashley Rugg. Additionally, we have one student who has attended school every day for the last 13 years. Will Lizzie Phipps please come to the stage for the perfect attendance award from kindergarten through 12th grade. Traditionally, our top four senior speakers choose a teacher to introduce them. Due to time constraints, the teachers have written an introduction for me to read. Our first speaker has chosen Ms. Strickland to introduce her. Ms. Strickland writes, Our first speaker can be summed up by a quote from a modern-day philosopher, I, J. Iron Word. She is a balance of strength and femininity, she is a blend of silly and serious. She is a dreamer with her feet still on the ground. The kind person that can find the sun rays in a sunstorm, in a rainstorm. She was once in a lifetime woman. Over the last four years, I have watched this young lady pursue her goals with grit, tenacity, and determination. She makes me proud of not only her accomplishments, but of the person she is. She is kind, strong, resolute, and faithful. 
I can honestly say that not only my world, but our world is truly better because she is a part of it. I have no doubt she will continue to be successful as she moves forward in life. It is my great honor to introduce your first speaker who will attend the University of North Carolina at Wilmington in the fall as an education major. Please come to the stage, Miss Anna Grace Sutton. Mr. Warren, Mr. Daltrey, distinguished guests, family, friends, and my fellow classmates. If I had been asked to write this speech four months ago, before our lives were abruptly interrupted by the quarantine, my thoughts for this speech would have probably sounded quite differently. That speech would have mainly highlighted the time we had spent together during our senior year and may have even asked us to reminisce on the past 13 years that we have spent together. However, because of changes in our world as we knew it, I can now tell you that my speech will be completely different. Today, instead of reminiscing on the past 13 years, I want to speak about the present. I want to speak about how my feelings for high school have changed since March. Over the past two months, I have often thought about the days when I didn't really feel like coming to school, or I dreaded an after a school event because there was somewhere else I would rather be. I think back to the many days when my friends and I counted down the days to graduation and realized that these are the times I would love to have back. These are the times that if I had another chance, I would never take for granted. These are the times that I want to advise all future Hopton High graduates to take advantage of because your high school days will go by much too fast. Don't take one moment for granted. Enjoy the special moments of each high school year and especially learn to love each day that you spend with your classmates. As Meredith Gray from Gray's Anatomy once said, when the bad things come, they come out of nowhere. The bad things come suddenly with no warning, but we forget that sometimes that's how the good things come too. Class of 2020, we have been dealt a bad hand. We have lost out on special events and time spent together. However, we are strong, and this event has taught us to overcome adversity. So today, let us decide to not spend any time on regrets, but to reflect on all of the memories we have created together. I'm thankful for every football game, every dance, every school assembly, every person, and everything in between. Thank you to my classmates and to our teachers for all of the love and memories you have given me. Let it be known that we, the class of 2020, will never be forgotten. The introduction for Ellington Tart was from Miss Angela Martin. William Hazlitt once said, no truly great person ever thought themselves so. And this quote holds true for Miss Ellington Aniston Tart. To me, being successful means being kind, genuine, good-hearted, and open-minded, and Ellington possesses these qualities. I have had the pleasure of working with Ellington for the past four years as her teacher in theater and through peer group connections her advisor for drama club and show choir, and her director in school musicals. She was, has always been a joy to teach, and her laughter brings a smile to my face from field trips, in-class projects, group activities, or school productions. Ellington is an outstanding in everything she does. Ellington is always a person that people gravitate toward because she is truly a friend to everyone. I have treasured the two years that I got to witness her as a PGC leader. She was always kind, nurturing, and a true mentor to her students. When you think of an outstanding representative for Hopton High School Class of 2020, you should think of Ellington Tart. 
She currently represents our school and our community as Miss Hobton High School, and it is my honor to introduce Ellington for her special remarks. Please welcome Ellington Aniston Tart. Lao Tzu once said, new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. I think that I can speak for everyone when I say that our senior year has come to a very painful ending. We never thought that a random day in the middle of March would be the last day to see our classmates and teachers. We did not realize that this would be our final chance to roam those narrow black and gold hallways as a Hopton High School student. Not only was our time cut short, we have, but we have missed out on so many things that we were looking forward to. From sports to prom to senior activities, we were all so optimistic and excited to see what our senior year had in store. Although our senior year may have been abruptly cut short, I feel that this time stuck at home has allowed us to truly see how blessed we are and to focus on all the good things in everyday life, no matter how small they may seem. Maybe this time has afforded you with extra time to spend with your family before you venture off to college, or maybe you've been able to step back and remember all of the great memories you've made over the past four years. Although we may still feel upset about the way in which our year ended, we must remember that a new chapter awaits us, a new chapter filled with even more laughs, memories, and lessons to learn along the way. You may be thinking, yeah, but this new chapter could also be filled with struggles and hard times, and trust me, I have these worries too. Though we may not see it at the moment, the hardships that our class has had to face will ultimately make us stronger and ready to take on any obstacle in the future. No, it may not be easy to say goodbye so soon, but we must focus on the future while remembering all of the great memories that we have made, that have made us the Wildcats that we are today. I'm so thankful for all the great opportunities that Hopton High School has given me and all the wonderful memories that I have made over the years. I feel extremely blessed to have spent the past few years with each of you and to have had so much support from my friends and family today and every day. To the class of 2020, our year was suddenly ripped away from us, launching us into a new territory full of uncertainty, but we must Stay positive, optimistic, and remember that new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. Hopton High School's salutatorian has chosen Miss Connie Thornton to introduce her. Miss Connie Thornton writes, in August 2016, a quiet, shy little girl walked into the halls of Hopton High School. She didn't have much to say. She was nervous and wide-eyed. She asked a few questions and wanted to know about her options in high school. Once she was in class, she became a bubbly personality. She has a beautiful smile and an infectious laugh. She was an excellent student and wanted to have fun. She cared about people and organized events to benefit the Duke Children's Hospital. She changed her mind many times about her career choice during the course of her high school. She has chosen to pursue a career in psychology at University of North Carolina at Wilmington. After the year we have had, we may need her services one day. I am proud to introduce Hopton High School's Class of 2020 salutatorian, Miss Bailey Lynn Williamson. If you know me, you know that I am not a big talker, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet, just like our senior year. The only difference is that this speech won't end unexpectedly. During our entire high school years, we have been told, your senior year is going to fly by. And yes, it did go by in a Zoom, but more likely a Zoom call. 
Throughout my four years at Hopton, I have learned about, a lot about myself and the people around me. I have learned that Mr. Waters is either being sarcastic or serious, and there's no in-between. But you could always count on him to make you crack a smile when you were having a bad day. I've learned from Miss Tyler and her simulated babies that I will not be having children for a very, very long time. I've also learned that if you smell something strange coming from Miss Connie's room, it's probably just some new organic hummus she just had to try. I've learned from Miss Martin that being shy and reserved does not prevent you from having the ability to be a leader and make an impact on others. And leave it to Miss Sullivan to break it to you that your favorite president for years actually wasn't a very honest and prestigious man. But seriously, today is the day we have dreamed about for many years. As we walk the halls of Hopton High School on our last day, we were filled with excitement and sadness as we began this final year. Excited about the thoughts of what's next and sad because we knew that as seniors, many of our experiences this year would be our last. But somehow time to be in fast forward and we were begging for five more minutes. But time didn't slow down and those lasts came and went. COVID-19 took away so much from us, including memories we will never get back. But it will not take away the memories that we did share at HHS. Memories of Friday Night Lights, Gold Rush, Spirit Week, every club field trip and convention, and stepping through the double doors at 8.05 when the bell would ring. Hopton High School has been our home away from home for the last four years, but let's face it, whether we want it to or not, everything must come to an end. Today is one of those days for us. We must say goodbye to the people and experiences that have helped us shape into who we are today. But we can't leave without first thanking the people who helped us get here. To our parents and guardians, thank you for all your support, prayers, encouragement, and most importantly, your love. You have pushed us to become the people who we are today and have been there every step of the way. Thank you for all the late night errands to find supplies for a project due the next day. Thank you for helping with homework, even if you were learning right along with us. Thank you for being simply you, someone that we look up to and strive to become. To our teachers, thank you for helping us grow, not only academically, but as individuals. Thank you for all of your inspiration, but more importantly, your patience. Thank you for laughing along with us, reassuring our efforts, trials, and mistakes. Thank you for thinking of new ways to reach someone who just wasn't getting it. Thank you for dealing with every side conversation, every eye roll, every loud classroom, and loving us on the good days and a little bit more on the bad. To our friends and classmates, thank you for being a rock and sticking by our side for the past four years. Thank you for inspiring us when we felt hopeless. Thank you for every smile, laugh, cry, and support. Thank you for being our second family, our teammate, our support system, and our best friend. Although we might go our separate ways, we will always cherish these memories that we have had together. Remember that although today marks the end of a chapter in our lives, tomorrow will be the beginning of a new one. How you will fill the pages of this chapter is entirely up to you. Some people call this the end of childhood. I call it the beginning of new adventures and opportunities. But no matter where life takes you, leave your footprint behind, be happy, be successful, and always strive for the best. We finally did it. To the class of 2020, as Post Malone says best, congratulations. Hopton High School's valedictorian has chosen Miss Connie Thornton to introduce her. Miss Thornton writes, In August 2016, a shy, soft-spoken little girl walked into the halls of Hopton High School. She was nervous and unsure of herself. She had many questions and was sincerely interested in helping others. 
Fast forward to June 10th, 2020. She was an excellent student with diligent work habits. She has been a HOSA president for three years and has taken the club to a new level. She has planned and organized many events that involve school, community, and state. Now a confident, well-spoken, diplomatic young lady that is pursuing a degree in physical therapy at East Carolina University, I am proud to introduce Hopton High School's Class of 2020 valedictorian, Mary Elizabeth Phipps, better known as Lizzie Fajizzi. On Friday, March 13th, we walked the halls of Hopton High School for the last time. We packed up our belongings and walked through the doors thinking it was an ordinary Friday. Excited for the weekend ahead with the intentions of returning to school the next Monday. Little did we know that would be our last day of roaming the halls that had been our home for the past four years. I can easily say we all worked extremely hard over the last 13 years and recently we questioned if we would have the opportunity of sharing this momentous occasion together. This year truly has been the great finale to the roller coaster journey we call high school. While on this whirlwind of a ride, there have been many twists and turns to face, tall hills to climb, fast and sudden drops, but most of all, many moments full of excitement, joy, and anticipation. After today, these moments will be nothing more than a memories, but they will be our memories. Memories that will keep us bonded as we depart from this ride and travel down our own paths to begin different endeavors that will be our future. Although we've spent a great deal of time focusing on all of the things we have lost, let us instead remember to focus on all of the things we have learned, the memories we have made, and the bonds we have built over the past four years. Each of us have our favorite memories of high school that will keep us bonded for eternity as the class of 2020. Some of my favorite memories along this journey have been the crazy bus rides to and from FFA events that were full of laughter and always involved a stop at Bojangles Tea. The suspenseful ghost tour we attended in Williamsburg with our history classes in SGA, along with many hours I spent in an airport with my fellow drama club members, talking about anything and everything as we patiently hoping to eventually board and head to Disney World. Most of all, I will always remember our trip to Dallas, Texas for the National HOSA Convention, where Miss Connie convinced a group of us to walk one and a half miles in 110 degree heat to a farmer's market, only to find out they didn't have any fresh fruit that day. The events that occurred within the last three months have drastically changed my thoughts concerning the little things that I will never get to experience again, like passing in and exchanging haze in the hallways and morning conversations as we rush from the parking lot to make it to our classes on time. Little did we think we would be sitting here now begging to stay instead of asking where is June. I would like to thank each of you for the memories made along this roller coaster ride we call high school. I would also like to thank our parents, teachers, and the staff at Hopton High for guiding us along our journey during these exciting and scary times. You all have made a tremendous impact on our lives, and we would not be who we are today without your influence, support, and constant guidance. To the class of 2020, I hope each of you find something you are passionate about, follow your hearts, and always stay true to yourself. 
I wish everyone the best of luck in their endeavors as we leave here to today to pursue our dreams. I know that I will forever cherish our time I hopped in together, and I cannot wait to see where life's roads lead us. For those of you who know me, you are aware I am a huge Jonas Brothers fan, and I feel like it is a perfect time to quote the lyrics from one of their songs. We were up and down and barely made it over, but I'd go back and ride that roller coaster with you. Although these past four years, and especially these last few months, have truly been a roller coaster, we will always call Hopton our home, and I will always call my fellow classmates and teachers my Wildcat family. Thank you. Wow, here we are, finally back together after the most interesting semester ever. A student asked me the other day if I thought I could write him up at this point. I said, of course I can. The student asked what I thought I could write them up since we were just days from graduation. And my response was skipping. Based on how this semester has ended, I have decided to entitle my message what we have learned from COVID-19. We all get so complacent with our daily lives, we do not always like change. But by having to change, at times we challenge ourselves and stretch our reality. Often we have to push ourselves out of our comfort zone and try new things or be creative in doing whatever we decide to do. Likewise, we get caught up in our daily routines and we forget to slow the pace down a little. It doesn't hurt to slow things down and enjoy life to the fullest. For me, by slowing down, it has been nice to be able to enjoy time with family and friends, of course, while social distancing. As children, we're taught personal hygiene. This includes basic tasks like bathing, brushing teeth, for some, washing hair. We are definitely taught to wash our hands and other general cleanliness. Maybe COVID-19 has been a way to remind us to keep doing many of these elementary seeming tasks. On that same note, in elementary school, we were taught healthy habits, including exercise and being outside. By being in good health, a person is in a better position to fight off sickness. And since the coronavirus does not do well in heat or sunlight, after today, we may be cured for life. As educators, on one hand, we want technology, and on the other hand, we feel that some technology can be a distraction, like cell phones in the classroom. However, we have had to make changes in how we're able to teach you guys, whether it's communication through Remind or a virtual classroom. In many ways, we have changed the way we interact with others. COVID-19 has reminded us of our personal space. Not that we don't want personal contact, but it's not a bad thing to keep a distance. We also have learned from COVID-19 that we rely on each other. This includes maybe going to the store for a neighbor who is a little more susceptible to sickness and they don't feel comfortable getting out in public. What that really means is be nice and help others. COVID-19 has definitely taught us to be flexible. Whether it is a decision that is changing weekly, daily, or sometimes hourly, we can plan ahead, but we always need to be flexible. If nothing else, we learn to Zoom. I am certain there are many things that could be mentioned about what we learned during COVID-19, but there's one more thing I wanna mention that I learned during COVID-19. Just when you think you want to say things couldn't get worse, don't say it. Marshals, please prepare the seniors.
For your convenience, a photographer from Strawbridge Studios will be photographing each graduate when they exit the stage. These portraits will be available for you to view online after graduation. A link and code will be provided to each senior. In addition, Star Communications is recording the ceremony and will air the event at a later date. We will now prepare the presentations of diplomas. Since this is a special afternoon for all graduates and a distinguished ceremony, we ask you to hold all applause and refrain from any cheering until the last name is called. Deputies will escort those who display disrespect during the presentation out of the stadium. This will ensure that every student's name is properly called and every guest has the opportunity to hear their loved one's name announced. Parents, when your child's name is called, please stand. India Nichelle Alston. Andrea Beatrice Arita. Lily Grace Askew. Stephanie Leslie Avales. Fatima Daleth Balderas. Giovanni Bautista Gutierrez. Mackenzie Grace Beasley. Shalea Jone Bell. Avante Eulogio Brunson. Nathan Bustamante. Dalton Edward Cantrell. Keller Zamir Castillo. Caitlin Michelle Cavanaugh. Adriana Cepeda. Sydney Morgan Corbett. Perry Odom Daltrey. Preston Curtis Daltrey. Nayeli Alejandra Diaz Martinez. Pedro Esquivel, Jr. Congratulations. 
Sarah Lynn Phelps. Lisbeth Flores Jamies. Nerlin Francisco Garcia Gonzalez. Braston Michael Giddens. Ashanti Neona Hardy. James Howard Harrell. Raven Malia Heath. Delicia Lynn Hepworth. Brianna Ashlyn Herrick. Brayden DeLeon Herring. Kristen Elise Holland. Evan Allen Hope. Andrew Patrick Howard. Raquan Jonathan Eugene Howard. Roy D. Johnson III. Macy Lynn Jones. Aileen Eliza Jorge Espino. Bryant Joseph Lamb. Anna Marie Lee. Devin Ray Lee. Jacob Kyle Lee. Cameron Elise Lee. Lisbeth Lira Betancourt. Medessa Grace Locklear. Emmanuel Lopez. Colby Garrett Martin.
Tomas Carlos Martinez Bird. Kilson Nian Martinez Jr. Christopher Aaron Mathis. Niason Joe McMillan. Azacena Mejia Melendez. Jean Carlos Molina. Kinley Montez. Decores Jalen Morrison. Alyssa Danielle Nichols. Nina Michelle Odom. Rebecca Ortiz Medina. Luis Miguel Padilla. Marticia Latrell Parker. Jordan Eugene Pearsall. Zara Lisbeth Perez Trejo. Mary Elizabeth Phipps. Laney Burton Pope. Jamima Ramirez Centoyo. Karen Exton Ramirez. Yosele Ramirez. Samantha Nicole Ramos. Dawson Forden Rayner. Yancey Gabriel Reyes. Stephanie Rincon Lopez. Yazinia Lee Rivera. Congratulations. 
William Dane Robinson. Cassidy Renee Rodriguez. Grayson Dean Rogers. Joshua Emanuel Royal. Jason Theodore Sanchez. Kyle Dean Scott. Congratulations, Kyle. Jonathan Donahue Smith. Anna Grace Sutton. Meredith Julia Sutton. Ellington Aniston Tart. Frederick Lane Thornton. Jake Wesley Thornton. Gracie Sue Vasquez. Jackson Brian Weeks. Marshall Payne Whaley. Jayla Trinity Wilkes. Bailey Lynn Williamson. Daniel James Wilson. Graduates, at this time, would you please stand? By the power vested in me, by the state of North Carolina, 
and the Sampson County Board of Education, I declare that all members of the class of 2020 who have fulfilled their academic attendance and other requirements are hereby graduates of Hopton High School. Graduates, you may turn your tassels. Congratulations, graduates. Guests, following the benediction, the graduates will leave the stadium. Please remain in your seats until the ushers will dismiss you by rows. After the ceremony, we respectfully ask that once you leave the stadium, please return to your vehicles and leave campus. Thank you. As we close, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for each and every blessing that you continue to bestow upon us. We thank you for our graduates and their families. Thank you for allowing us to celebrate this graduation day. As we realize that normal as we knew it may no longer exist, I pray that you bless the Hopton High School class of 2020 as they move forward to the next chapter in their lives. Keep watch over them as they begin to make decisions as adults and guide and direct them in every way possible. All of these things and many silent prayers we ask in your name. Amen.